Hi, this is Chuck with the Hillbilly Hellcats. Today we're going to take a look at the fifth song on Rev It Up with Taz, which is My Baby Moved. This song's in the key of E, and I'm going to play what I would be playing on guitar if I were strumming chords, although right here we're just going to lay out and let the bass player and drummer play. But to just see what chord's going on, I'll make the shapes. Seven. Five strum, six strum, five strum, six strum. Six strum, five strum. Drums come in. Still on E. A. A major. Play the chords if you're doing this solo. B7. E. Okay, here we go. All right, first leg. We're going to put our first finger up here on the first string, seventh fret. Second finger on the second string, eighth fret. I'm going to be picking this using the thumb and first finger holding a pick. I like these tiny little ones 1.52 millimeter Claytons here because they don't flex and uh, and then we'll be using our second finger so the lick goes pick down on the second string and your second fingers at the eighth fret you pick down hold it the half step with your first finger pick up on the first string at the seventh fret and pull it off and then put, pick the second string eighth fret then pick your first string ninth fret and then second string eighth fret so that lick goes so you're gonna have time to do it one three one three one Then we're going to move that lick three frets higher. And riding around the country with the horn. Try it again. Okay, there's the first two licks. Back, we'll do it at the seventh fret again. And then. seen these before sixths. If we were to go right up the major scale in six we would go minor sixth. This is called a minor sixth shape, a sixth shape, although it's part of a B major chord. But your harmonized uh, in the key of uh, B would look like crooked, flat, flat, crooked, crooked, flat, flat, crooked. Like that. Or Speaking according to proper theory, minor six, major six, major six, minor six, minor six, major six, major six, minor six. Those are harmonized six in the key of B. Okay, in this case now, wherever you have two, they're the same. You can fill them in there for, for with chromatic passing notes, uh, such as instead of just going, we can go. So filling every pair in would be like that. So it's kind of adding the glue between the pieces there. Okay, let's uh, see where it goes. Back 
that up a little, check it again. Okay, in that section I go. When I get to that fourth pair there, one, two, three, four. I'll bend that third string up a whole step. And if you've got, if you're feeling strong and you've got a skinny enough string on the first string, you can make the whole sound sound like. Okay, that's the type of thing you have to muster up your strength and give it one good push. I don't. I play a thirteen, rather a twelve on top. And if I were going to be playing like that all the time, I would play a ten gauge or later lighter string on top, which is what most people are playing out there. Ten, say on a Gretsch guitar. But for the overall body of the sound, I sacrificed the string bending ability a little bit here to get a fatter sound out of the strings. All right, then. I go, I start at that B again, at the seventh fret, and then I go. All right, so we've got a minor six at the seventh fret, a minor six at the fifth fret, a major six at the fourth fret, major six at the second fret, and then. First string open, second string two open, third string one, fourth string second fret. Next. Okay, this particular sound right here, uh, the rhythm guitar is mixed awfully high. And so, if I didn't know what I'd played there, I would, uh, would never be able to figure this out. The rhythm guitar is kind of blowing away the lead there. But at that point, what's happening is I'm going... Just the major scale. Going down, playing 12, 11, 9, 7, 5, 4, 2, open. Do, ti, la, so, fa, mi, re, do. But we're, I'm going to play these in sets of three. So I'll pick the 12th fret down, lift it, and pick up, down. Now we go to the next note in the major scale, and our pick is positioned to go up, lift it, down, up. Next note in the major scale, pick down, lift, and pick twice. So it goes next. Okay, then I go to the boogie lick down in E. Okay, and here we're going to play the sixth string open. Two, three, four. Fifth string, two, four, two. Fourth string, second fret. Fifth string, four to two. Sixth string, four. Back up a little. lick there, the band has gone to an A chord there, and we're going to be basically playing out of this lick that sounds like an A major chord. And uh, so we're going to take our third string, fourth fret here, 
supporting the fourth fret with the first and second finger right behind it, we're going to push and bend up a whole step, two frets worth. Then to the first string, second fret, second string, five, two, third string, fourth fret, bend up a whole step, first string, fifth fret, pick the third string, and you've been holding it bent, release it, and then pick the third string, second fret. A country lick if there ever was one. Let's back that up a second. I'm using the uh, amazing slow downer here. 50 buck app you can find uh, in the Apple Store. up here at the fifth position, I'm going to slide my second finger on the third string to the sixth fret, then second string fifth fret, then seven to five, pull off, down on the third string sixth fret, up on the second string fifth fret. Then we're going to use the pinky on the eighth fret, pull off, from eight to five, pick down on six of the third string, Back to second string, fifth fret, and then the third finger. We're going to do it again with seven to five on the second string, six on the third string, second finger, fifth fret. So, and notice this if you had to pick quickly alternating between your second and third string, what would be the easiest way to do it? Well, there's an exception to anything, but most people feel that it would be to pick up on the second string and down on the third. Like that. That to me feels much easier than picking down on the second and up on the third. So up on the second. Like that. That's the right hand uh, that I'm using when playing that lick. Next. Okay, so here we're picking, let's see if I'm picking that just right there. So pick your fourth string, second fret, first string open up. On the third string, pick down on the f open to first fret, second fret two to open, third string open to first, fourth string second fret. Whoops. And then. Okay. We're going to play octaves. Go to the uh, fifth string, second fret. And I could use my third finger or fourth finger here just to make it the minimum amount of tension when the wider fret's down here. I'll use my first finger on the fifth string, second fret, pinky on the third string, fourth fret, and play my octaves like that. Pick down on the fifth string, up on the third, slide it up a half fret, fourth fret, 
fifth, sixth, seventh, like that. So. I'm sliding for each fret to the next one, going up from the second to the seventh here. Alright, I can't hear what that mush is in there, but I basically go... Once we're in the tune there, I'm not sitting there, I'm not going, We Notice it kind of blows away the vocal there, doing all that picking, uh, all that strumming in the same range as the vocals. So I'll go to the Luther Perkins style back up here for an E. Well, we used to have it good in Commerce City. And I'll miss a string here every now and then, but basically I'm going, Six, four, four, five, four, four. We used to have it good in Commerce City, living in a cozy little shack. For B7, it becomes five, four, four, six, four, four. And notice I'm hopping my second finger from fifth string to sixth string. We used, we used to have it good in Commerce City, living in a cozy little shack. We should get her behind, look so pretty. I wish that I could get my baby back. Baby back. She used to fix me great big greasy burgers, there are in E. But now she says that we from down the outs. Alright, here we're going for the A chord 5, 4, 4, 6, 4, 4. On the out. She found herself a hippie for her boyfriend E. B7 who fixed her up some tofu and some sprouts. There you go. So you keep the rhythm that way and um, you establish the overall sound of the chord without without getting in the way of your vocals. So that's you want to leave space there. Okay, this next lick is derived from Yakety Sax. It's not exactly the same thing, but it's the same idea as uh, yakety, sax, yakety Sax. And it's going... Alright, let's take a look at it. The first finger is at the second string, 12th fret. All right, there, and uh, this just lines up the third finger with the second string fifth fret, and the pinky with the second string fifteenth fret, pinky with the first string sixteenth fret. So we're going to support the second string with all three fingers because we're going to do the whole step bend up. We're going to go like that, and then pick your uh, second string fifteen. First string 12, third string 14, first string 12. So, then we're going to do the same rhythm but start on the third string 14th fret. We're just working our way down a minor pentatonic scale. So, And then, now, so here we're going 4th string 14, 
third string 12, fourth string 14, third string 14, 12, third string 14, 12, 14, third string 12, we end up. Couple variations we could go. Going for the going for the unison bend. Give me money, that's what I want. That's what that with that lick is. So Alright, next one. I should play the lick again. We're down at B. Picking down on the third string, up on the first, with our minor six interval. Now we bring that down to the 5th fret to A. Now we're going to keep our 2nd finger on the 3rd string, bring it down to the 3rd fret, and add our 3rd finger on the 1st string 4th fret. Rather, they're both on, both on the 4th fret. A half step now. A half step. Next. Okay. Um, we're on the B seven there. playing six there, I'm starting out by playing the third string at the fourth fret, and then the second string open. So those are frets four, six, seven, eight, seven, six, four, four. Play the the lick up here at B major. Remember, I played that earlier down at the fifth fret with the pinky on the fifth fret. Now I'm going to play it at the sixth, fourth string, sixth fret. Bend up a whole step. First string, fourth fret. Second string, seven to four. Third string, sixth fret. Pick and bend up a whole step. First finger, first string, pinky, seventh fret. Pick the third string, release it, and then third string, fourth fret. So same slick and I'm going to play it up with the pinky on the 12th fret. Okay. So I start with that lick again. 
And then I'm going to play one, three at the ninth to eleventh fret. Alright, what we're looking at here is a diagonal shape of pentatonic. Notice it's like a star, starry, starry night, starry, starry night, starry, starry. You can play that whole set, uh, that whole combination of notes by repeating a pattern three times, starting on a low string seventh fret, and then starting on the third, fourth string ninth. And then to compensate for the string tuning change, we have to hop up with our first finger to the 12th fret. An E diagonal pentatonic layout. Alright, let's see where we're at there. Right, now we're down at E, we're going to go. Alright, similar to a Hot Rod Lincoln style lick. Down, we're going to play 6th string open, 2-3-4, 5th string 2nd fret, 2-4-2, two, 4th two. string 2nd fret, 5th string 4-2, 6th string 4. And then we're going to do a similar lick starting on the fifth string. Open two, three, four, two, four, two, two. All right, we'll do a lick we've done before. That's sliding from the fourth fret to the 6th on the 3rd string, 2nd string, 5th fret, pick, pick, pull off from 7 to 5, 3rd string, 6, 2nd string, 5, pinky pull off to 1, 3rd string, 2nd string, 7th fret to 5th, 3rd string, 6th fret, 2nd string, 5th fret. Hear that again. Okay, no, I'm just doing my pentatonic look again. We're bending the third string, 11th fret, first string, 9th, second string, 12, 9, third string, 11, bend, first string, 9. Pick the 3rd string 11, release it, then 3rd string 9th. Last two licks. All right, so those are the harmonized six again. Minor sixth, major, half step, half step, minor sixth. That's the first string twelve. Second string, 14, 12. 
Third string, 13. For, fourth string, 14. Next part. Once again, the rhythm guitar is kind of loud there, and it's not easy to hear the solo. But I believe I'm going there. Well, my baby's moved on up the road to well, my baby's moved on up the road to Boulder, and living there is making her so so. Okay, so this is the E phrase. Here's the B phrase. Got to slide up a whole step. And if I'm feeling tired, rather than playing every note uh, in alternate picking, I'll just go, well, my baby's moved on up the road to Boulder. Like that, I'll just play a bass style lick. I won't bother doubling each note. Okay, my favorite little pentatonic lick there. Third string, 11th fret. Up a whole step. First string, 9th fret. Second string, 12, 9. Third string, 11. Pick it up a whole step. First string, 12. Third string, release. Third string, 9th fret. And there, rather than just play one note, I'll play the whole chord. The uh, fourth, third, second string. And that is my baby moved. <laughs>